Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to add and subtract values in degrees, minutes, seconds with the TI-84. Um, I do have the same video with the same examples done by hand, so if you want to check that out, make sure you look at that one too. Um, with this, if you use the calculator, you can put it in exactly as it is, and then just convert the answer to degrees, minutes, seconds, and then you don't have to worry about borrowing or converting to from seconds to minutes and all of that stuff. So let me grab my calculator. Um, let's first look at the problem that we're going to add together. So we're going to add 25 degrees, 45 minutes, 38 seconds to 40 degrees, 17 minutes, 47 seconds. So let's go ahead and put this one into our calculator. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to start by entering in your values and then you're going to hit second and the apps button above it. It says angle. That's where all of our degrees, minutes, seconds are. Um, and I'm going to choose option one degrees. And then I'm going to add the 45 minutes. And so again, we go to the same place, second angle when we choose option two. And then the last one, this one, the seconds are not in the same place. For this one, we're gonna do alpha and the plus button, and that will put the seconds in there. Okay, and now what we are going to do is we're gonna to add to it 40 degrees. So again, second apps, the first one, and then 17 minutes. and 47 seconds. And that was again alpha and the plus button. So, hold on, I put, just one second, I accidentally hit an extra plus button. Let me delete that out. So I have 25 degrees, 45 minutes, 38 seconds, plus 40 degrees, 17 minutes, 47 seconds. Just wanted to make sure I put it all in correctly. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hit the second and the apps, and I want my answer to be as degrees, minutes, seconds. So I'm gonna choose option four. Otherwise, it will put it in either degrees or radians, depending upon what your calculator is in. So if you want your answer to be in degrees, minutes, seconds, you do have to hit the second and the apps button to do that. Now if I hit answer, I get my answer is 66 degrees, three minutes and 25 seconds. So we could put this down as our final answer for this one. So 66 degrees, three minutes and 25 seconds. Now we can do the same thing for the next problem, but this time we would just subtract the two values. And so instead of having to borrow from here to subtract 37 minus 45, since I would get a negative and borrowing from my minutes, um, I can just again plug it into my calculator. So I'm gonna plug in the 85 degrees, 15 minutes, 37 seconds, minus 46 degrees, 22 minutes, 45 seconds. So again, we're just going to do the second apps for a degree and 15 minutes, 37 seconds. And this time I'm gonna hit subtract 46 degrees twenty-two sorry, I'm looking at the make sure I'm looking at the right place. Twenty-two minutes and forty-five seconds. Okay. So let me just make sure that we have it all correct. So we have 85 degrees, 15 minutes, 37 seconds, 46 degrees, 22 minutes, 45 seconds. So we have it all lined up correctly. And then again, if I just hit enter, just in case this happens to you and you hit enter, it's going to give me 38.88 and this is going to be in degrees. Um, because that's the mode that I have it set in. So if you are trying to figure out where do you go to set it between radian and degrees, actually I do have it in radian mode. Um, so if I wanted it in degree mode, make sure that you always look for that. But with this one, what I want to do is because I want it in degrees, minutes, seconds, and I already hit enter, what I'm going to do is hit the second and the angle and go to option four, degrees, minutes, second, and it'll automatically calculate it back or convert it back to the degrees, minutes, seconds, so we can say that this is 38 degrees, 52 minutes, 52 seconds. Okay. 
So if you have a calculator that allows you to enter degrees, minutes, seconds, it does make it a lot easier than having to subtract and borrow and all of that. Um, like I said, I do have a video that shows you how to do this by hand. So if you want to check that out, that would be great. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well. And if you get a chance, please subscribe.